Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Cut and Run and Ultra Violence. This map was made and submitted by Miracle Water. Oh yeah, finally. Ever since I played this map for the very first time, I just couldn't wait to show it off. And here we go, Cut and Run. This is such a good map. I'm gonna show you why. So first of all, we're gonna run past everything. Because we don't have big guns, let's collect some ammo here, and the super shotgun. I'm just quickly gonna move on. Actually, let's kill some of the pinkies. In case they're gonna block us when we don't want to. At some point you need to jump down and, well, enemies are... In, um, enemies have infinite height, so that's gonna be a problem. But yeah, let's just... Grab the supercharge, wake up the chain gunner and the pain elemental. Use the pain elemental, one of mine. I wanted to use it as a meat shield, but that didn't work out, but that's okay. And look, the chain gun is slightly faster. That's a nice change. Makes the chain gun a bit more useful. Oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of. But now it's the Arachnotrons and not the pinkies. Can I get out, please? There we go. Okay, that's gonna spawn a lot of imps. We're just gonna... Kill them all. For one very important reason. Not because they're dangerous, but because they... Um, after a certain point, a plasma rifle will teleport into the level. But if the imps are blocking the teleport destination, it never spawns. So it's a bit, a bit of a flaw. But the remedy is to just kill all the imps. I'm getting sandwiched. Eee oh, that's not good. Alright, that was not a good idea. I need to find a better spot to kill them. Maybe here. But yeah, this map is fairly challenging. But really good. Like, it has the good visuals, it has the good music. And it has some really, really, really clever fights. Like, fights I've never seen before. One in particular really stands out, and we're gonna go there in just a moment after we kill all these sims. The Rakatron is helping, thank you. And Rakatron did. And almost there, let's just kill um, these imps too. It gets better, trust me. I know killing imps isn't always that fun, especially with the super shotgun. But we're done. So let's move on to my favorite fight of this level. So this area teaches you when you walk over the red platform, it rises and then slowly lowers again, but it's a one-time thing, then it disappears. So look at this, a lot of red platforms, what's gonna happen here? Well, first of all, let's grab a backpack. Second, prepare a rocket launcher. So after we grab the red key, it's gonna spawn arch files. But how do you seek cover, you, um, you ask? Well, check this out. Platform rises. The arch file appears. And then you shoot him. So you just have to time when to walk on the platforms. It's gonna create cover for you. It's, it's genius. It's so... I've never seen this before. Seriously, this is just brilliant. And now two Archfalls. 
But we have a rocket launcher. Like, I'm so impressed by this. It's not even that complex, but just the idea is just so well executed. It's great. So yeah, this is um, when a plasma teleports in. Now, if there was a, brick, a big group of imps here, then the plasma... There was a chance the plasma would have not teleported in. But we're good now, so... Let's, uh... Let's move on. Let's go over here. So the goal of this map is to press three switches, and then you uh, gain access to the final area. Um, there are some nasty demons down here. Including chain gunners. I'm just gonna move away from them a bit. Get rid of the imps and hell knights. Beware of the revenant missiles, mostly. Okay. Get rid of the chain gunner. Then these menki by, but I think they can infight with the revenants. It's gonna take too long, so I just go there myself. Splat! Alright, now we've got to kill these revenants. Can this make you in fight with the revenants? That'd be kinda cool. No, he got stuck instead. Huh? That's weird. No, nah, I don't think the I don't think he can invite the angle is too steep. His line of sight is blocked. <laughs> ah. Alright, that's another area clear. Hey. Hello. Mr. Zone. Oh, two of them. And we got a mega armor here. And let's see, we can also get a Berserk. Let's use that to punch out these Revenants. Ooh, I forgot to pick up the rockets. Oh, that was a bad move. Good thing we have the Plasma, because this fight is actually kind of difficult. There are two Archfiles on both sides. But with the Plasma, you can quickly kill them. But still, there are also a lot of Hell Knights, ready to close in on you. Stun, please. Ah, too bad. Yeah, it can go very wrong here. Very quick. Just need to kill the Archers first. Oh, not kill myself too. Oh, he killed himself. Great. Yeah. Nasty fight. And again, it's such a subtle thing, but it's the Archfile. It's He's behind the pinkies. So you can't directly go for him unless you get rid of the pinky wall first. And while you're busy dealing with the pinky wall, the Archfile has the time to zap you. It's, it's the little things that make fights so interesting, you know? It's brilliant Archfile usage. And pinkies used as a way to... Limit your mobility, or to give the archer time to attack, it's... It's the little things. And I love it. Alright, here we have Mekibai and some zombie men. And there's another archer, but he cannot walk down the stairs, fortunately. I wonder if I can make an infight with the Rackentrons, just for the hell of it. I'm gonna kill one on Rackentron. And then... See if I can use this one. Just for fun. Come on, Archie, get out. Get out, get out. Come on, attack. There we go. Almost dead. I 
Just for fun, okay? Alright, there's a uh, secret here. See that switch? I'm going to shoot it. And for that, you just stand here. There you go. And the reward is pretty nice. Bulk cells and... This door opens up when you press three switches. So as you can see, one is green. That means one has been pressed. And now for the rest, I'm trying to remember where to go. Oh yeah, we go down here. Prepare the plasma. For a lot of Kako demons and Arachnachan. Alright. Now this door will open up on a timer. Now there's gonna be a very nasty archer here. And two manky by two. And I just need to kill the archer as soon as possible. And I'm gonna hug the wall here. In case I do get zapped, I'll take minimal damage because the explosion is inside the wall. So you'll take 20 damage instead of the 80 something. Or 90 even, I don't remember. Alright, down here. We're gonna face some pain elementals and revenants. And as usual, let's kill the pain elementals first. And then just deal with the revenants and hope you don't get surrounded because they're gonna punch to death in a matter of seconds. A bit too close to the wall, I don't like that. They need to be centered, then you can easily circle strafe them. Circle strafe them to death. And let's get out of here. And here's switch number two. Beware, revenants will appear out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Two green lights. We need to heal up. See if there are any medikits here. No. Okay, hold on a sec. I need to I need to heal up. The next section is a bit nasty. Let's look for some health down here. There's a medikit. Anything else? Two medikits. Armor, I think I will grab in a bit, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of these revenants too. Especially these two. Alright, now we're going back to the beginning, but as you can see, now these Hell Knights have appeared. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I think I found him on, on time. Yeah, so these Hell Knights just lure them out a bit, then you can grab these rockets and then you can kill them. I really need to get better at dodging projectiles. A bit of a shame that I picked up that medikit at 97% health, but plenty of medikits here. Let's kill some more revenants. Alright, now this fight. First, let's open the bars uh, where the arch was spawned earlier. Then these. Get ready to fight some chain gunners. Let's kill them quickly before they start firing. Hey. And now, a fight with a Cyberdemon. Which you can actually choose, but I won't because that's boring. But here's the third switch. And then Cyberdemon's gonna appear. But if you stand here, he never teleports in because he cannot, he cannot see you. I'm just gonna reveal myself. And fight him like a real man. At some point, Chang'e will teleport in too, but then 
the bars also open up, you can escape. So we need to deal with the head scanners. Here, okay, here they are. Let's get out. And the chain, uh, the cyber demon doesn't actually follow you till here, so that's good. But let's get rid of the chain gunners if we can. Come on. No, they're a bit too far away. I cannot really shoot them. There we go. Okay, let's kill the cyber demon. I have plasma, I know, but I may want to save it for the final fight. Whoa. There we go. We're not done yet. Because after you press the third switch, this happens. Big group of revenants. Always fun. I need to get rid of these missiles. Yeah, and there's another reason to save plasma just in case I run uh, out of the rockets. Uh, bad position. And we're good. Oh, not yet. Now we are. And we got a supercharge. Very nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we have 357 kills. That's good. There's just one more enemy left before we go to the final fight. And I hope it's one that does, it's not going to damage us too much. We're going to have a bit of a boxing match with a Baron. Ah, yeah, these bars close behind you, so. But actually, it doesn't really matter because you get a supercharge, or I mean, mega sphere here. But yeah, here's the final fight. This is another very unique fight because from here it looks like it's one of your typical circle strafe to win slaughter fests or slaughter fights, but not really. I'm gonna show you. So, first of all, you press the switch, that's gonna wake up the cyber demons and spawn in pinkies. I'm just gonna use the cyber demons to kill them. So, the gimmick here is each time a cyber demon dies, it spawns more enemies. Done through some uh, magical boom scripting with voodoo dolls and stuff. But yeah, it's not a typical circle strafe to win final fight. Oh, this wave is pretty easy. Then we should use rockets, it's a bit faster. He didn't die in one hit. Okay, so let's kill this one first. Okay, wave number two. Pain the mental skakos and arachnotrons. And as always. Then the metals die first. See the reason why I wanted to save plasma for this fight? Alright, we're good. Let's kill the rest.
Right. Now we're gonna kill another Cyber Demon. And get ready for the final wave. The most difficult one. Because it's gonna spawn Archfaust on us. We all know how troublesome they are. So here they are. There's one of them. He's done. Good. Nice, 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 nice. He's dead. That's one. Yeah, fun fact, you don't get a BFG in this map, so... I guess that's why it makes these... Slaughter of fights a bit more interesting. Okay, there's still one Archfall left, but I think he got distracted. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I can I... Ah, I saw that coming. Let's go for this Mega Sphere. I saw that coming, he was attacking, and I saw that rocket fly to him, and I'm like, No, he's gonna retaliate, and he did. Ah, oh well. So that's Mega Sphere left, so... Okay, that's another Archfall dead. And we're almost done. This should be the final enemy left. Oh, I saw a uh, stray Kaku demon. What you doing? And down you go. That's all the kills and all the secrets. And that was Cut and Run. That is such a good map. Oh, I, um... You know, actually Miracle Water was in the Patreon stream when I first played this blind. And, uh... Yeah, I think I already said enough to him how great this map is and how I consider it, like, a Ribix light map. And it, it just is. I mean, it has the good music, it has the great visuals, and it has the really, 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 really clever fights. Mostly involving Archfiles. And it's just a lot of fun. This is exactly the type of map that I love. And I'm very happy that this exists and it was submitted. And I hope you guys liked the video too. Because, um, yeah, it's just, it just gives me positive energy. And uh, it's just the stuff I really like playing. And I hope you guys uh, noticed that too. But yeah, the link, um, the download link is in the description. I highly suggest to give it a try. It's, it's challenging, but it's not bullshit challenging. There's no, not really RNG involved. You just need to be uh, quick on your feet and, uh, you know, anticipate all these, um, all the enemy attacks and stuff. It's just, just try it out for yourself. It's good. I really hope people start making demos for this map or something, because it has a lot of potential to have some incredible runs. But yeah, amazing. Thank you very much for watching. And also again, thank you very much for submitting this Miracle Water. This was just great. Keep it up. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.